I'm headed to LA today, baby. We finishing up. Tusi, I'm jaded. My manager literally called me yesterday and said, Aunt, I need you out here tomorrow. We're finishing up the album. I said, bet, let's do it. He got me a ticket. I'm on the way. Y'all know I got to go taco before I leave. Mm -mm -mm. One eternity later. <laughs> <laughs> what you say? Hey boy, you got that PS5. No, I ain't bring it. Why y'all ain't telling me bring it? What's up, my brother? What's the yes, sir, man. Hey, Shit. Bro. Bless you be here. This the mastermind right here, y'all. If y'all ain't know, this this the one who putting it together right here. My dog what's going on, baby. How you doing? Good. Hey. This the other mastermind right here, man. Just flip. This the one who got me out here. Crazy. Big projects in here. This is nuts. Nice meet you. How you doing? Hey, nice to meet you, man. Yeah, I did Big Sean. Ass, ass, ass. I did a nice. one time for the birthday, bitch. Two time, I did motherfucking Anaconda for Nicki Minaj. Rihanna, Kate, Kate, Kate. Justin Bieber shit, John Legend shit. Like, I got like over 200. Now this nigga, this the old, this, this man right here, though. Tell him a little bit. Been working with R. Kelly for the past 20 years. So. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, that relationship did a lot of stuff. Charlie Wells and I, the brothers. Oh, man. I'm going to get to a point where it's like the same, the same sad songs that I'm performing, whatever the case may be, people going. It's not, I, I was making a type of music to where my fans loved it, but they didn't want to share it with nobody else. That capped me out because they were so preserved with my music. Like, they like, nah, like, we got to keep this for us. Like, and it was it was kind of capping me out. So I'm like, nah, I got to get to the point where the music's so great, people want to play it for other people. I want my fans to go tell a fan to go tell a fan. You know, so that's what I was trying. So I changed the whole narrative of the project. I'm like, nah, it can't be like this. I got to, we got to make the sound bigger. Like, bro, like, just the little shit, the little small shit, bro, fake shit, like, where the music at? You feel me? Propaganda, like, bro. What's up with y'all music? That's what I'm trying to get the music back to being, so fuck me being in a cover art. What's the symbolism? And when I sit and I think about, like, when I sit and th I think about, like, all the samples that's on the project, all the, uh, the the women melodizing and harmonizing on, on on these intros and outros, whatever the case may be of these songs, or throughout the songs, the choruses and shit like that. I dead ass just see like I don't know, like I see that girl with the grills and the motherfucking inside tatted lip jaded. Like that's like that's gonna. I feel like that's gonna bring a different audience when they see that. That's gonna bring like that. That, that LA culture, that motherfucking, that, that, you feel me? Like, the fly girl culture, the bad bitch culture, the lit girl culture, the party girl culture. Mm -hmm. Like, it's gonna bring that side out. I'm literally witnessing greatness right now. Like, the experience out here is amazing. It's a lot of legends in the room, and they just showing me the past work they did, playing out old songs, doing all of that, and it's just crazy. They so talented, and this is it's really inspiring because now I just want to get home and just make a hundred beats and really create and not try to rush through anything. I just really want to like create great vibes, great music, being in a different state. LA is always a good time out here, especially being a musician. So, you know, I'm just trying to inspire others. Right now I'm taking a tour of 1500 Studios and the Academy. So I'm about to walk around with one of the heads of the place and she going to show us around. So let's do it. So students can rent out each room. Roland sponsors this room. Mm. So they supplied all the keyboards. Students can work on projects after class together in a group. So 
good to be alive. at the airport guys what a day what a trip it was such an honor to be in the studio with legends like Rodney East and Lawrence Dobson like it was just surreal to see the process of how those guys created music and what they've done for the music industry the studios here were beautiful the the process of oh, I almost spilled my the process of coming up with Everything for this upcoming project was just amazing to see and, you know, be a part of to, you know, have judgment in it and to really see how everything got put together. So it was just, it was a blessing to be here, an honor to be here. And I'm, I'm going back home with new motivation and that's what I feel like this trip was all about because I feel like this was more of a learning thing for me and just to soak up the game from legends like them and to see this album get put together in, in LA, it's just beautiful. I'm so grateful that this trip went well. I'm really happy that I could take part in something as big as this, and I look forward to giving you guys some more videos and keeping you in touch with what I got going on. So peace and blessings.